Hello everybody! I know that today's math riddle might be a little bit challenging and so I'm going to just give you a few hints and walk you through an example and then you'll be able to try one on your own after this. Alright, so let's take a look at this. It says, I'm thinking of a three-digit number. So the first thing I want to do is remember that digits are the different numbers that make up a whole number. So there's going to be three of them. This is our hundreds, and I bet you can tell me what this one is. It's the tens, and this one, that's right, it's the ones. Okay, now let's take a look at the problem. The hundreds, the hundreds digit is half of the ones digit. Well, I know that half means that um, there can be a double that makes it, and I'm going to take one part of that. So, for example, 2 plus 2 is a double, and that equals 4. So, half of 4 would be one of these, right? So, another way to look at that, if I have four things, I can divide that into two groups of two, and so half, if I cut it down the half, is just two, okay? So, whatever I put in the hundreds needs to be half of what is in the ones. Now, here's a little hint. When we're talking about half, we need to have an even number here so that we can cut it in half. Okay, now the other part is sum, which we know means the answer when we add of the tens digit and the ones digit is nine. Let's just highlight that whole thing. So the easiest way to do this, at least for my brain, is to think of, well, what are some numbers that go together to make 9? Well, I know that 4 plus 5 equals 9. So whatever I'm putting in my 10s and my 1s needs to equal 9. Now, if I was to try my 5 here and my four here, that makes nine. So my tens and my ones, when I add them together, the sum is nine. See that doesn't pencil doesn't show up. I just wanna be able to erase it. Okay. But by putting the five here, that makes it really hard for me to, well, in fact, it makes it where I can't put a number into the hundreds that is half of this number because five is not even. I can't split it evenly in half. So what if I try putting my four in the ones and my five in the tens. The tens plus the ones still equals nine. I'm making a big mess of this paper, aren't I? Okay, and now I can cut this number in half because I know that there is a double that makes this number and that can go here. I'm actually not going to put that one because I want you to be able to figure out what it is. If you've used this video to help you, I want you to see if you can come up with another number. So we're going to use different numbers in the tens and the ones to make nine and cut the ones in half to put here. So I hope this video helped. You were having a little bit of trouble, but I also like to hear that it wasn't too easy for you because then I know we're stretching your brain a little bit. All right, I look forward to seeing some of your answers on our math Padlet wall.